Okay, so I'm resuming the Halloween tutorial. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file, place embedded, and I'm going to choose something else. I'm going to choose the skull. Okay, so I'm going to bring him over to the left hand side. I think I'm going to keep him the size he is. Press enter to get rid of these kind of corners. If I want to get those corners up again to resize, I control T. Control T, or it's edit and transform there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try my blending modes again. Just see if there anything that works. Ooh, that works really well. I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm happy with that one. Um, yeah, that works okay for me. And again, I could I could uh, rasterize that, absolutely. File, place embedded. And I'm going to use this kind of a pumpkin guy. Put him down in the corner here. Press enter. Rasterize, right click, rasterize layer. And again, I'm going to go through. Yeah, I like that one. I keep going through them, but I think that's the best one. Lighten or nicer colour. Again, I'm just going to tidy it up with the eraser tool. So you can see in my thumbnail exactly what I'm doing. So I'm making sure that I have the correct layer selected, that I'm not in another layer. And because my opacity is down at 50%, it won't be a huge difference. Okay. Okay, if I wanted, I could make copies of some of my layers. So, for example, if I wanted a stronger kind of a space aspect, I could duplicate that layer. So, I could select the layer and I could Control C and Control V like you would in any other, or you could right click and duplicate layer. Give it a name if you wish. But you see how it makes it blue, okay? But you might want to change then your your blending mode. So you can go through anything you want. But actually, I'm going to delete it. So to delete it, it's the little dustbin at the bottom. Do I want to delete it? Yes. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some text. So I get the capital T on the left hand side here. I click and drag and I'm going to say scary. So you can see you can't see my text. So I'm going to control A to select all so I can highlight it and I can change this colour here. So when I get this colour picker up, I can move it around. Um, I think I can, so I can select colour from here, like I could say, right, I'm going to go for that colour, I'm going to go for that colour, whatever the case may be. But in my case, I think I'm going to use the colour picker and pick up an orange from here. So if I click, so if I just hover down here, move from here down to here, you'll see that it turns into a little colour picker icon. So I can like click here and you can see how it changes up here with each, and you can see the preview here. So I think I'm going to go with a kind of a, a really hot orange. Oops. Okay, press OK. Now, I definitely don't want that font. So during the week, when we were using Chiller, um, but, but I think I'm bored of that. We did that for the last couple of tutorials, and I think I want something different. It works, but I want to find something different. So um, you can download fonts if you want. Um, there's a chiller there, let me see, I'll find something. It works. You might decide to put all caps if you wish. They're all very friendly. I'll go with that, we'll make it a little bit fun. size of the text box just to down more so I might go to like 25. Yeah. I've just got an exclamation mark. 
so it's probably going to go in on top of my moon, so I'm going to go again, 23. Now, do you see how it's come behind my moon? That was actually by accident, because the layer here is in the wrong place. It's down here. But actually, I'm really happy with it being behind the moon. I think that works okay. I'm going to move my skull down a little bit. Okay. You could bring it on top. Just bring it on top you do this. But I don't want to. I like it behind the moon. And um, yeah, so that's the end of the tutorial. So when you're saving it, just make sure that you save it as a Photoshop file. That's the first option on your drop down list. Um, and that will ensure that you have all the layers in place and then save it as a JPEG at maximum quality to upload onto your Facebook page. Thank you.